that is two and two more. There is low frequency. And what is period? Time, like time period. Yeah. It is any motion which repeats itself. at regular interval of time this is time period now what do you mean by vibration then vibration is a to and fro motion right then what is the difference between oscillation and vibration Vibration has like a different frequency rate. What's the difference? Is my voice clear? Right? It'll, it'll shake like a in speed, it has more speed. Okay. So, about a vibration of object. About its mean position. Here, frequency is very low. Yeah, I said it. Hey, that's what you said? Yes, I said frequency. Yeah, it is high frequency. So, vibration has high frequency and oscillation has low frequency. Now, can oscillation be a vibrating motion? No. Okay. Can oscillation be a vibratory motion? No. No? no. But can vibratory motion be oscillatory motion? I think yes. You think yes? Okay. No, just now I said period. So, periodic motion. What is periodic motion? This one, right? Repeat itself after every interval of time. Now, can oscillatory motion be periodic motion? Can oscillatory motion be periodic? I think yes, sir. Yes. Oscillatory motion should be periodic. You can say every oscillatory motion will be periodic. If you think like a swinging of pendulum, right? Our basic example. It is repeating itself. After every interval of time, it's repeating. And gradually decreasing. So, every oscillatory motion is a periodic. But can I say all periodic motion be oscillatory motion? Can I say all periodic be a oscillatory motion? Oh, I think so. Give, uh, explain with some example. Yes? Sir, pendulum? Yes, I am asking, can all periodic be oscillatory? All periodic No sir, not necessary. Give me some example. Mm. Yes, sir, it is actually. It has definite period of time. Yeah, that we know, right? That's not we saw definition, yeah. But I'm asking example. Can give me some example? 
that all this periodic motion is not oscillatory. See, you have so many examples around you. See that. Do you have wall clock? Ah, uh, yes, sir. See the time. It shows twenty. 28 or 8:28, right? That second hour or minute hour or hour, and this all are moving. It is periodic, but is it oscillating? Is it going to and fro? It's just going to, right? Yes, sir. It's not coming back. Yeah. Same not way we can say. Yeah, we can say a movement of Earth, yeah, rotation of around the sun. Yeah, around the sun, that is periodic. So we can say that is periodic, but it is not oscillatory. So, what we concluded? Give me one conclusion. Yes. All Give me one periodic conclusion. cannot be oscillatory. All periodic motion be not oscillatory motion, but Allah, sir, it can be periodic. Yeah, will be periodic. Okay. <clears throat> this thing clear, right? This is your mean position of pendulum. <clears throat> this is extremes. Extreme ends. Now equilibrium position. What's equilibrium position? Constant position, same position. Yeah. Okay. So for that, I have one question. Like when I can say that this object now came to its equilibrium position. Like take example of pendulum. Yes, sir. When can I say that? It touches the same point first after it's going to and fro. Yes. Means. In short, we can say when it comes to rest, that position is equilibrium position. Let it be moving right side or left side. Left side, it started moving whenever it is moving, wherever. But it came to rest at point that is your equilibrium position. Right. Example: This one, Bob only, Mr. Bob. We suspend this Bob from left to right. So it comes to a rest. That position is called equilibrium position. So it goes to some extreme points. These are two extremes, left and right. So in short, what this Mr. Bob is doing, what this pendulum is doing, he is trying to come back. Once it reaches its maximum force, it tries to come back to original shape. Sorry, original position. Then still it has momentum. It will go. Again, it will try to come back, and again it will try to come back. Slowly, 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 it will come to rest. So when this will move? When external force is applied. <clears throat> Now, if I say. If I say some more thing here, so when we applied force here, when when we displace from here this object or this ball from here, it will try to restrain its position. So there is one more force which is pulling down, pulling towards it, right? Restoring force. Name itself. From name we can identify what is that. Restoring force. 
this was external force which we applied and restoring force. So do you want to write some theory in this one or we can go to next? Okay, then time period. Time period means? The total time taken. Yeah. Time taken yeah. by an oscillating body. Wait. Oscillating body complete one cycle. That in short, we can say to an flow motion. Of a body gets what? Same thing. So it is denoted by T, unit is seconds. These all things you know. What is frequency then? After time period, there is always something frequency. Yes? What's the frequency? Yeah, the marine of uh, repeating. Repeating rate. Thank yeah. You. Or this one, this cycle, oscillating cycle. Yeah. Number of cycle per second. Then means number of hmm, frequency f or some book which denoted as v. Number of cycle by seconds or one by second or one cycle. It is called Hertz. HZ. Unit is Hertz. And here we can write S minus 1. <coughs> Second inverse is Hertz. <coughs> Excuse me. So we can say some other way that number of this sine wave in one second. That is also frequency. So what is the relation between, relation between frequency and time period? What is the relation between frequency and time period? Inversely proportional. Yes. They are inversely proportional. Frequency equals to 1 by time period. So even we saw here also. Hertz equals to 1 by second. <coughs> So here, some more thing we saw, that is restoring force here. Restoring force acting backward, right? So we know restoring force formula, F equals to K, Y. That is constant, K is constant. And Y or X or whatever, it is displacement. In some book we are taking K, X. A is constant and X is displacement. So how much it moves? Let's see that. 
Now, what is displacement in this one? In periodic motion, see how we started. We study linear motion, then we study rotational motion. Now we are studying periodic motion. So displacement in periodic motion, what is displacement? Okay, just tell me what is displacement, simple words. Yes. Are you both there? Yeah, can you hear me properly? Or is there any disturbance? Engine position. Yeah, initial to the final position. So displacement in periodic motion. So it can be represented as. function which is periodic <coughs> so it, what happens when periodic it repeats itself after every interval right. of time right f into t Fixed interval of time. That means if I take a spring example, like standard example, and I'm attaching some box, so how much it stretched? That is the distance x or what we wrote up by. So force equals to kx or ky. <clears throat> now here what we are assuming that block moves in a frictionless surface. Yeah, we are not considering friction. Frictionless surface function of t which is equals to a cos omega t this is a function or cosine function It repeats at or after 2 pi. We'll see this how and what. For that, we need to know what is A. Now, what is A? A is the amplitude. Now, what is amplitude? What's amplitude? Yes, see, what's amplitude? A small explanation. The maximum displacement. Yeah, so amplitude is maximum displacement of an oscillating body, right? So, can it be positive and negative? Yes, it can be positive as well as negative. So let's write this. 
they are always positive yeah but displacement can be negative right if it is moving in opposite direction maximum value of displacement is called amplitude no do you remember what is what was uh, angular frequency angular velocity angular frequency angular frequency rate of change of displacement here denoted as omega displacement by time so rate of change of displacement okay so here i said here 2 pi it always 2 pi by t so 2 pi means in radians 2 pi means radian per second i'm sorry say that again radian per second sir yes radian per second correct that is unit now what do you mean by 2 pi 2 pi radian so convert into degree yes Three sixty. Yes, correct. So, so three sixty. So omega is equals to two pi of frequency. Omega equals to two pi f, or omega equals to two pi by t in radians. So this is the most important thing. Cos theta equals to we can write as cos omega t plus two pi. Okay. So cos omega t equals to cos cos theta. We are writing this one. This. These are substituting values. Omega t plus two pi. Let us assume v t. f of t equals to f of function of t plus capital t it was first t then we added t capital t that is t plus capital t so in short what we are saying displacement keep repeating displacement keeps repeat at what this much time t plus t so here what we wrote a cos omega t plus t let's do that it was f f t it was a cos omega t now f t plus t 
a cos omega t plus t. So let's use this equation a cos omega t plus t. Okay, then. So from from where we are using this? Let's see. Which equation we are going to use? Let's equate this one. Let's name it as number two. So if we equate this, this and two and one from let's write two and one, what will get? A cos omega t. This side it will be omega t cos omega t plus two pi and cos omega t plus omega capital D. This side. Okay, so we can say omega t. Equals to two pi. So we move all a and cos term. T equals to two pi by omega t. We already have derived this one in class, right? Have derived this one in class? Yes, sir. Any of are there? There, sir. Okay, then let's combine all these things. Whatever we wrote, t we wrote. Then by the function f of where we wrote, huh? A cos omega t. Then same way, can we have for b cos omega t? Let's b as a frequency of some other function. This was the function of this a, and let's take for another one. Sine component, cos component. See, like uh, why we are doing because this function can be expressed in sine also as well as cos. There is no much big difference. We can express this function as both. Because both are sinusoidal wave. So f of t equals to uh, what is that? A cos omega t, then and sine omega t. A sine omega t plus b cos omega t. So sine and cos function are what we can represent this. Both we are, we are representing this function as both sine and cos. So, in short, remember this way: any periodic function we can express in sine as well as cos function or cosine function, sine or cosine function. Now, depends upon this coefficient also. Okay. Now, let's take this one. A as Let's take this both coefficient as same cos phi b s d sin phi some other angle then let's substitute this a here and b in this place. D cos phi sin omega t plus D sin phi 
or similar to. So, so this one looks like A plus B, right? Which one? Which formula we are using here? We can use. sin a plus b what is sin a plus b you move both are match rule right so what is sin a plus b come on sin a sin a cos b plus cos a sin b sin a cos b plus cos a sin b cos a sin b okay this both uh, all three four formulas you should remember sin a plus b and cos a plus b and that one cos a plus b by 2 all the formulas you should remember because we are use, we are going to use this one in simple harmonic motion and all that okay so this one we can write as f of t d sin a plus b a plus b Now same this one and a and b square and add. So a square plus b square equals to d square, which is cos square phi plus sine square phi. What is cos square plus sine square theta? What is cos square theta plus sine square theta? One. One. So here d equals to under root a square plus b square. If we divide this equation 2 by 1, sorry, b by a, we'll get what? d d will get cancelled. Tan theta by equals to so 10 phi equals to b by a. 10 phi equals to b by a. Do you have uh, inverse trigonometry in your syllabus? No. no. You haven't studied? I did I'm sorry? I did it. So your voice broke. I didn't understand. It's deleted. Oh, it's deleted. Oh, that's very, very important actually. If you get time, you study that, okay? It will be very, very helpful for a 12th standard. Especially for physics. Not much, just at least basic of that. Inverse trigonometry. So, phi equals to 10 inverse P by A. Okay. No doubt in this one. Or do you have some question in this? Yeah. Shall we move? Next. Simple harmonic motion. No doubt, right? Okay. okay, then let's move to simple harmonic motion. What is simple harmonic motion?
case what do you mean by simple harmonic motion yes tell me don't know sir okay then we can go with simplest form of understanding simple harmonic motion means simplest form of oscillation very very simple form like we can say when uh some particle is in simple harmonic motion when it moves to and fro motion it moves to the to and fro motion simple form that's right simplest definition so that we can remember a particle say to be in SHM. If it moves to a slow motion, about its fixed point. now about its fixed point fine so how it is happening due to restoring force under action of restoring force now this restoring force we saw one formula where where it is ha huh. this one right so which is direct this restoring force is directly proportional to this distance you see that so the distance is displacement the restoring force which is directly proportional to displacement is directly proportional displacement now make it, let's make it more simpler it is simplest form of simple harmonic motion it moves to and fro motion about its fixed point under action of restoring force which is directly proportional to displacement we want example like uh, we saw that example spring right so oscillation of spring see if i am loading this if i that spring i am pulling it towards this side and suddenly i will leave what will happen to this spring it will bounce back and forth for a few seconds or a fraction of seconds right if you observe that spring it will bounce to and fro to and fro for a fraction of second that is now i can say this oscillation is linear now give me one example of uh, angular simple harmonic motion then Give an example of that. No example. Simple pendulum. Yes, exactly. Pendulum.
regular SHM. It is simple pendulum. It moves to and fro. So this example is spring. This example is pendulum. Okay. Let's do some numerical. First, let's start with easiest. A body executing SHM. Makes one twenty oscillation in one minute. Calculate period frequency. Angular Come on. Solve this. Yes, what's the period? You know formula, right? Sai, Varun, are you doing? No? Yes? M period I was 1 by 2. It's 1 by 2? Okay. What about frequency? Two hertz. Two hertz. Okay. And what about angular? Omega two pi f. Omega equals two pi f. What is F? 2, right? Frequency is 2. Pi? 4. Pi radian. Four. Okay. Get me in decimals. 4 pi radians. Okay. This one you got as 4 pi. Let me write here so I will remember. 2 pi F. So frequency. That is 
120 by 60, which is 2 hertz. Period. 60 by 120. That is 0.5 seconds. Omega is two pi. How much? Two into three point one four into two. Four three is a twelve. So it should be twelve point four fifty six. Eight is per second because four three is a twelve and four fourteen is a fifty six. So are you getting same? What happened? You fo you both feeling sleepy? You are just nice, sir. I'm sorry. You are just nice. One by two seconds. I got same one. Yeah, yeah. Answer. What about you, Sai? So I did frequency and angular frequency. I didn't do period. Oh, okay. Then do it. It's very easy. Yes, sir. I wrote it down. Time taken for one oscillation. So let's write some points for SHM so that we can remember. So it is the simplest form. Of motion or oscillatory motion. So I'm working here. Now, in this one, displacement we saw as sinusoidal wave. Sinusoidal function. Sinusoidal matlab means. What do you mean by sinusoidal? We saw the first line we wrote, right? Two pi cos two pi. It repeats itself. Sinusoidal, मतलब it repeats itself. Yeah. Smooth, repetitive function of Now we wrote some weak functions. So what are those? What are the names for those small, small things? Let's write that. Do we have time? Yes, we have some more time. We can do that. At least we can finish some part of SHM because SHM is bigger. We wrote a cos omega t plus phi. No, A is amplitude this is omega is not the full one angular frequency What is phi? Phase constant. 
if this is phase constant and this term, then this term will be this term will be phase. T, what is T then? We left with T. What is T now? Exactly. Amplitude we wrote definition, right? Uh, maximum displacement. So all things we wrote except phase, right? Okay. Then what is phase? Form of energy. Form of energy. Energy. Okay. Or position. Like uh, today we'll just write definition, then we'll discuss next class as in phase out phase. These are some points. This determine the phases. So uh, it's a wave. It's a cyclic waveform. Yes, correct. It is that quantity that determine the scale of motion. Total is how it is. Phase two. Total three sixty. Like yeah. Total 360. So, how it is moving and what is the position of particle? So, phase value we can write uh, omega t plus phi. So, in short, it is depending on this term that is time. It is phase. Fine. Okay. So let's end this today. Then tomorrow, I mean, day after tomorrow, we'll continue with that. We'll do some numericals. And we'll see the conditions for the wave position. Okay. Yep. Okay, then. Bye bye. Shall I stop sharing or you're writing? One second. Okay, okay, sure. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just moved. Yes, sir, done. Thank you. Okay. With the right, I can wait. It's okay. Yeah, it's done. Okay. Both of you? Yes, sir. Bye bye. See you day of tomorrow. Sir. Yes. Thank you, sir.